What's in stage number 11? The Gauntlet. Stage, and now a fire. Does the fire guy have any any fancy voice? I realize my brethren have had some trouble with you, my little orange friend, but I'm not quite sure. Isn't that Mark Hamill? One of the one of the voices is Mark Hamill. Is it getting hot in here? Is it safe to be wearing that fur? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to, to it's like it's like um what do you call it? Far cry where it's like it's like I'm the main antagonist. I'm all up in your face. See ya. It's like okay, that was fun. That was that was a nice little conversation we had there. I'm, I'm glad we had it, you know. I'm glad we had these like one-to-one -one talks with one another. It's not just like a one-sided thing no more. What the fuck was that? Why does this why does this uh why are that why is that sound so loud? Jeez. The like computer sound effect for the for the whatever you call it. The computer sound effect in this like medieval sage was so loud for some weird reason. Get out of here. I'm playing Crash Bandit. Look at that amazing fire effect. This game has amazing fire effects too. I give this one a 20 out of 30. Everything's a review of me. Woo! Son of a bitch. Crash Bandicoot could have had it. He could have had it. I was always thinking about, like, if I did video game reviews, what would my scale be? And I could never figure it out, so then I just never did video game reviews. What would my scale be? Uh, it would be based around uh, how many Crash Bandicoot woes you get. Oh, this gets woe! Out of woe! It's like, wow, that's a lot of woes. We should do one of those weird systems where, it, or, where the score doesn't make any lick of sense. Where it's like, this one gets a 20 out of 8. And it's like, what, what does that mean? I can't, I can't perfectly, I can't perfectly associate that with a Metacritic score. What the fuck? It's like, that's the point. I don't need Metacritic. Metacritic needs me. And they need me to review the heavy hitting Crash Bandicoot games, damn it. I know, I wanted that one life. I totally, I totally don't have like 33 of them right now. Let's get the Wumpa Fruits. I like the Wumpa Fruits. Yay. Woo. Oh, that was a, why is the bonus stage right there? It's me, Crash Bandicoot. Here I am, son of a bitch, why? Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Oh my gosh! <laughs> this game is trolling me right now. I can't make fun of that. Have you seen my Simpsons hit and run playthrough? <laughs> Have you seen my Tony Hawk playthrough? That was just awful. That was just bad. I can't make fun of nobody for that. I can't make fun of nobody for raging at a video game. I'm definitely worse at it. I'm awful at video games. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Easy. Can sink it and everything. Woo! Oh shit. Yeah, Made it! Double jump for the win! They ain't gonna stop this madman's in his double jump. Son of a bitch. I don't like the double jump. It feels weird. <laughs> it feels really like, st like the way he bounces off a of midair. It feels like, it feels like he's bouncing off the crate. Like you have to hold the. You know what I'm talking about. Like, look, if I could show it to you, it's like, yeah. See, it's like one and then bounce. So it feels like. So when I was hitting those crates, it was like, did I hit it? <laughs> did I double jump off of it? Does that count? Woo! Isn't there like a secret in this area? Oh, I think I need. A, I think it's a death route probably. Well, I ain't getting to that death route now. Oh shit, that was close. That was pretty close. I was scared of that one. Oh, give me that, give me that Aku Aku mask, son of a bitch. Hey, if maybe if the, oh son of a bitch, maybe if the camera was a bit closer. My favorite thing about uh, IGN reviews is like, this is the crash, the classic Crash Bandicoot we come to love and know, and then, <laughs> and then later on in the review they'll be like, but this game is seriously difficult. I don't understand why this game is so difficult. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? You just said, you just said, you said something along the lines of, this is the classic Crash Bandicoot we know and love, but now you're getting mad that it's too difficult. Have you played the original Crash Bandicoot games? I don't think so. I don't think so. If you're if you're talking about that. If you're talking about that bullshit, ooh, that's the point of these dumbass platformers is to have some difficulty, especially ones made in the PlayStation 2 and PlayStation th uh, 1 days, the games had to be overly difficult, so you'd be like, gosh, if I could only get past that one level, and it's like, and then you have like a Dragon Ball Z moment where you're like, I can't get past that one level because I 
have the heart of the cards. He's like, wait a minute, that's not the right, that's not the right show. That's not the right show. I have the heart of cards. I truly believe in myself. It's me, the anime a and antagonist, the anime protagonist. I forgot what antagonist and protagonist were. Holy shit. See, that's why I'm not allowed to review video games anymore because, you know, after the after the the review scandal of 20 son of a bitch, I can't even make my dumbass joke. After the review scandals 2083, you know, when I accidentally accidentally plagiarize somebody's work. Now, I wanted it to be something stupider than that. I wanted to be like I accidentally murdered a man for his review of Spider-Man. <laughs> it's like I really wanted that review of Spider-Man. I was going to make it my own, damn it. It's like, geez, I didn't. Why do you have to go and kill somebody over it? I mean, it's just a review of Spider-Man. It's like I gotta show all the IGN editors that I too am a game journalist. Damn it! I can game journalist with the best of them. Watch. Uh, I really like that game. It made me feel like Spooderman. It made me really feel like a spider. It made me feel like a web crawling spider who was about to get hit in the head with a with like a freaking like sp spaghetti wire. What the fuck am I talking about? Woo! I can't wait to play more Spider-Man on the PlayStation 4. I can't wait to play more Borderlands. Whoop de doop. Should I go back for the death stage? Yeah, sure, why not? Woo! <laughs> sure, what could possibly go wrong? As my old friend Batman once said, what could possibly go wrong? And then he died. Son of a bitch. We can't lose Batman. He's the only person I can truly... I don't need to get any of the boxes. Look at that big-ass time clock right there. Holy shit. You want to do the levels again except faster? I don't. <laughs> I really don't, but I'm probably going to have to if I want 100%. Do I really want 100%? Is that really something that I strive for in my everyday life? A hun no, I'd never do it. I think I've done it more often in video games nowadays because it's just like... Some video games are really easy to 100% where it's just like, it's like, here's all the markers on the map. If you want to go 100% it, go ahead and do it. Because I remember I would never, uh, I would never, I was about to say speed run. I never, uh, I never do a, I never do 100% in like open world games. But you know, if you play a Ubisoft game, the game's like, huh? Look at all these markers on the map. Don't you want to go get them? Aren't they tantalizing to you? It's like, yeah, I want to get rid of them because the annoying ass markers are all over the map. I want to get rid of that marker. I want to get rid of all the markers. You see this? You see this epic speed run we're doing right now? If I had the crash dash, it'd be over. Son of a bitch. Oh, I took that damage like a champ. Shit, I'm gonna have to, if I... I don't understand. This is just like Crash Bandicoot 3. Woo! This is technically my first Crash game, to be honest with you. Woo! I think I've already said that before. Because it's the only... No, Crash to Insanity. Dude, I remember seeing, um... Ads for Twin Sanity when I was a kid. I'm like, oh, I want that game because it's all funky and goofy and, and Crash Bandicoot uh, smacks Cortex and stuff like that. And I used to have like friends. They'd be like, yeah, I totally have that game. And I was like, yeah, you're a freaking liar. <laughs> you know, you have those one friends who's like, yeah, my dad gets me every video game known to man. It's like, no, he doesn't. And they would like tell you like what the game was about. And you're like, that's not at all what the game is about. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, there's a part in the game where Crash Bandicoot and Neo Cortex use the fusion dance and become one. It's like, wait, what? For real? For real? Oh, that's freaking Persona. Woo. This is a non-anime game. What the fuck? I get to retry. I get to retry since the death don't count in a death in a death pit. Death don't count in a death pit? Yeah, that's exactly what I meant to say. I get to try one more time, baby. One more time. I want an Aku Aku mask so I can like tank some damage. This area is too small. You think Crash Bandicoot was the inspiration for that for that TV show Wipeout? Like they just put like giant like TNT crates right in front of you and they're like, uh, go for it. If you win, you get a million dollars. Oh, I can go around it, duh. I was like, I don't want to hit the TNT crate and blow myself up. That's it's too much. It's too much. Uh, whatever you call it. I did not hit that checkpoint crate. Are you freaking kidding me right now? How could that have possibly happened? Who puts all these balls and chains here? Why does the, why does Cortex have this like fit, this like giant freaking whatever you call it? Fucker! Oh, I can't do the death pit now. I can't do the death pit now because I freaking messed my thing up. 
why does Neocortex have all these balls? Why does he have all these like medieval contraptions when he's supposedly supposed to be like this super genius who never gets anything wrong? I want that gym, damn it. I didn't really want that gym. Well, I couldn't do the other gym because once you complete all five stages in a warp room, the game closes off all the other areas. So it's just like, oh, okay, I, I didn't want to get that gym anyway, damn it. I didn't want that stupid ass gym anyway. I'm going for this one though because I feel like it. Because I can prove my true platforming powers. All my platforming abilities have come to this one this one chance right here. Uh, not dying in a death pit. Uh, I want the freaking whatever you call it. The death tornado spin. I love that move. I think it's so dumb. What smash? That would be like his up B. You'd like get like one more extra jump and then he'd go... You know, he'd do that like... Ow. You get stuck on the hammers if you get hit by them. That's so dumb. That is so dumb. Why would they? Oh shit. That was close. I almost got hit by that TNT. I almost got hit by that. <laughs> Just a big old flaming rock comes out of nowhere. Hell yeah. Come on, baby. I gotta get through this stage. I gotta get through the stage to get that magical super gem. Because, you know, I need to collect them for some reason. Because gems make me have, like, superpowers or something stupid like that. They're like chaos emeralds or whatever the hell. They turn me into Super Shadow. No, not Super Crash. I can't wait to turn into Super Crash. Hell yeah. That's like my favorite part in any Crash Bandicoot game. He goes golden. He becomes invincible. He becomes a living, like, interpretation of God. It's like insane. Why would they give Crash God powers? Who knows? But hey, I'm not judging. Death Route. One Aku Aku mask that looks like weird ass, like an Ed and Eddie design. I don't know why. That's what it looks like to me. Oh shit. Oh shit. The gauntlet, baby. Son of a bitch. They go too fast. They go too fast. I don't like fast thing. I don't like it when it goes fast. Makes me scared. It makes me scared a good hit. I almost had it the first time, but I like... I don't know what happened. I like my like misjudged my jump the last time or whatever the hell. Woo! You see that? Didn't misjudge that jump. Here we go. One. Two. Three. I don't know why I'm counting. Counting's easy. hi -ya! Made it! Give me that gym, baby! Is that the red gym? That's the purple gym. Well, hey, I went back for the right thing. I didn't even know. I have there's there's been like one time where the game's like, uh, if you have the red gym over here, you'll go through this area again. There hasn't been a lot of that. Purple gym. How many gyms are there? Go like cycle through the gyms. I got two power-ups. That's great. Uh red and yellow I'm missing. Oh, you hit B to go through it. I didn't know that. Blah, 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 blah. Tsunami. Oh, this is a stupid Coco stage. This is a stupid Coco stage where you where you uh, ride a scooter. When you ride a scooter in. I only remember that because I would lose the stupid... I would lose the box gym at the end of the... And no way, the tsunami would break everything. Never mind. Can she double jump? No, she can't. What the fuck's the point in playing as Coco? She doesn't have the same damn power-ups as you. What a waste of freaking time. She can't even do this. She can't even do the freaking whatever you call it. The slot, the butt slide. She can't do shit. She's freaking Coco Bandicoot and she's garbage. She can't do the spins. She can only do like the judo kick. She does that in a, she does that in the insane trilogy. She does the like, she like spins with her foot. She goes like, you know, <laughs> if they, if they put Crash Bandicoot in a uh, Smash Brothers, they could have Coco as his like a uh, copy swap, copy and paste character, whatever you call it. See, she can't double jump. What's the point? Well, I just lost my Aku Aku mask because of that. Thanks, game. It's just the exact same stage, except they just re repurposed it. This is the exact same shit as last time. What the hell? Come on, Traveler's Tales. I expect more out of you. What are you gonna do when they make you make them all them Pokemon games? A bunch of things are gonna spawn there. See, I can't do... I can't... I, I really wish I could double jump right now. That'd be nice. Really wish I could double jump. That would make it so much easier. Give me that one life. Woo! It's to blow up both of them, please. There we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oh, shit. One, two, three, four. Make it one, two, three, four, five... Okay, we'll just wait. We'll just wait for that one to blow itself up. Boom, baby. I win. I win. I win. Give me all the money. Give me all the kicks. All the kicks. 
Hey, at least I didn't have to like do a deathless run before I got there. Get out of here, fish. <laughs> Why is there just a rain? Do you have to hit? Do you have to hold accelerate for this one? No, that's just a jump. Woo! No, you have to hold. You have to hold something. You have to hold something. Wait, you have to hold some stupid ass accelerate button or some bullshit like that. What the freak? Is it, is it gonna make me do the the death stage again? The death stage. It's gonna make me do this again? No. Okay. I was about to be like, come on, game. Oh, we get to race the tsunami now. I was about to say, how do you kick faster? Apparently, that's how you. Why are all? Why don't they just have you? Why don't they just have you go at the the speed they want you to go instead of you having to hold a button down? Instead to be like, oh, look at you, you're actually playing the game now. Don't you feel like you're? Uh, don't you feel like you're doing something? It's like, not really. Not actually. There is a death stage in this. You have to get to the end of the stage without dying. I just remembered that. You have to get to the end of this stupid ass stage without dying because there's like one right at the very end. There's like a death stage right at the end. Yeah, watch. It's going to be like right next to me. Is the tsunami coming back? Where's it at? Where's it? Oh no, it's a blue gym. What's in here? Did I get it? Yay. I got the gym and I can use the blue gym. I thought this was a death route stage. I could have sworn. What does this get me? Nothing? Oh, it gives me more level to go through. Crash Band- uh, Coco looks like more, uh, more blockier than Crash, but Crash's design looks blockier too. I really wish I had that double jump right- <gasps> I really wish I had that double jump right about now. This precise platform right now, I, I don't like it. I don't like it one damn bit. I can do it though. Can you take that? I think I got killed by one of those. See, look at this shit. Look at this shit. She can't double jump, so it's- it's harder to like refocus your stup- see? Motherfucker. It's hard to re I'm just complaining now. What the hell? It's just harder to refocus your jumps or whatever you call it when you're running through the stage. It's me, Coco. I've seen shit that makes you turn blue, damn it. I like it when her ponytail longer and, and, and she's and she do the big spin. I like when she has these same moves as Crash instead of trying to be like, oh, we can make Coco have her own things she does. And Coco's man, Coco suck Coco. Coco Coco Bandicoot. Coco ugh. Coco sucks. If she could double jump, that'd make everything better. If she had the same moves as her dumbass brother. If she had the same dumbass moves, but apparently no. Can't have the same moves as my brother. I wouldn't have been able to come through here because I blew up all the crates. That seems fair. That seems fair. Son of a bitch. I want that gym, damn it. I want that gym. They don't like give you like metal boxes that they replace them with or anything like that. Do do do. See? Look, this is- what even- what is even the exclamation for her? She just comes out of nowhere one day, she's like, Hi, I'm replacing Tana. <laughs> it's like, uh, hi. It's like, you don't have a girlfriend anymore, but instead, now you have a sister to take care of. It's like, son of a bitch. <laughs> Crash is like, duh, I don't understand. I don't understand that, but I guess that's okay. In real life, Crash is like, damn it. I got a dumbass sister. I don't want a dumbass sister. She's a know-it-all, and she's an asshole, and she thinks she knows everything. Like, where did she even come from? Did, did did Cortex try to make another Bandicoot? And he was like, uh-oh, messed up again. <laughs> what, Roraggy? Or was it, was did Nina make a Bandicoot and she messed up? There we go, got it. I freaking nailed that one that time. Hell yeah, my man. Hell yeah, my man. Just pick up whatever's on my desk and mess with it, you know? Woo, I don't even know if that appeared. That'd probably be funny. Woo, one, two, three. Is that one? That's one of the special gems. What the freak? That isn't one of the special gems. It's just one of the random gems. Smokey and the Bandicoot. Smokey and the Bandicoot. It's a dumbass racing stage. Oh, that is Mark Hamill. <laughs> I could hear it in his impl. He's like, I am the Joker. <laughs> I can't do the Joker. I really wish I could. Don't you know who I am, Batman? I'm the Joker. It's like, oh no, he's scary. I don't like him. Everybody's racing me. Everybody's here. Freaking, freaking, what's their names? Dingo Dial. Uh, what's his face? Crunch. Crunch is in there, is he? I don't want to. I hate the collecting the boxes on the racing stages because you have to come in first place. No, wait, you don't have to come in first place for the, for the whatever you call them for the box gym. You just have to. Oh shit! Did you see that shit? Get out of the way, Tiny Tiger. Get the fuck out of here. Tiny Tiger, you bitch. Get out off the road. Freaking what's-his-face is in first place. Crunch. Because apparently they gave him the faster car. Wee! Oh, that's what you need to do. You need to hit the boost pads. 
I'm I'm catching up. I'm catching. I I don't hate the controls on this thing. It could be worse. I don't like how bouncy it. If it's like a cartoon, where it's like do do do. Why haven't they made like a Crash Bandicoot like kids TV show or whatever you call it? It seems like just I'm in I'm in second place. Oh son of a bitch! It's like I was in second place somehow. You can't even see that those are boost pads or whatever the hell you call them. They don't even look like boost pads. They're just like just sitting there in the random. It's just like there might be a boost pad there. Holy shit! Oh, did you see that? Because of the game so bouncy and shit, it, it worked out for me. Hell yeah! Give me that gym. I win. Uh, who? Who's? I know we're trying to imply. We're trying to. We're trying to. We're trying to put logic into a game where an orange marsupial spins at like supersonic speeds.